today I woke up bright and early, I was up at 6.30 to work on what is my best daily driver ever. And then I realized that today is the day that the concrete in front of my shop is being replaced. We've always had this like massive drop off and it's just always been a pain to back cars in and out of. And it occurred to me that all my tadpoles that I've been looking over for many months now are about to die today if I don't do something and at least move some of them. When the heat was really bad here, like so many of the tadpoles in front of the shop died because it was too hot. So there's been like two cycles of them. And I'm really attached to the recent ones because the recent ones are the only ones that have made it to like almost full blown frog mode. <laughs> so it's been about two hours and I've been trying to figure out how to get them from their little sanctuary. Because the concrete had such a ditch in it, water would always build up and it's just become my little frog sanctuary. Even at night, all the frogs gather around here. It's a big frog spot. So yeah, for hours now, I've been trying to figure out how to at least move some of them. And it's resulted in this. And honestly, not that many frogs, if I'm, if I'm being totally honest. I managed to get a bunch of the tadpoles. Those are really hard to get. And I keep trying to escape, but I can't. There's there's literally hundreds of them, and I, there's no way I can get the tadpoles anymore. The water's too low. All the tadpoles are in this ditch. The water goes super far down, so there's there's literally so many that are in there. I can't. It's really hard to show them on camera. But all those little like bubbles that you see, those are them coming up for air and going back down. But when the dyes actually start tearing into the concrete, I might come back out here and see if more of the water is exposed. See, I got a little uh, distracted today. So you can see, we got a few tadpoles, mostly frogs that still have like a little bit of their tail. They're so cute, look at them. I managed to get like, uh, there's kind of quite a few in there. Maybe like 10 more with a few tadpole ones that don't even have legs yet. Okay, I need to stop. I'm stopping. I'm stopping now. I'm gonna take a break from all this frog business and tell you what we're about to get up to with the Hyundai Veloster N. Today I'm finally gonna be shooting some Veloster N content. I know a ton of you guys have asked what's going on with the car, and I actually have pretty much all of the mods that I want to do for this thing on a rack in my shop right now from Six Element. I wasn't really expecting the Road Till Nights build that I'm currently doing, so our calendar sort of got shifted back, but I still want to try and tackle a few things while I can. And I have some really freaking cool parts that I've been waiting to show you guys for the Veloster, and I don't want to wait anymore. So today we're going to be unboxing some of those. She's about to get some more carbon fiber today, which I am very, very excited about. As you guys know, I absolutely love my Adro USA carbon fiber pieces that have been put on this car. We have our Adro wing, diffuser, side skirt, and front splitter. It makes the car look so much more aggressive and I am obsessed. And I really wanted to bring that more aggressive, cool vibe into the interior of my Veloster N. So today I'm going to be unboxing and installing some awesome carbon fiber additions. I have a fully custom wheel and dash piece and shifter from SoCal Garage Works and I also have a bunch of other carbon fiber pieces as well. So let's get into it. This is the shelf of parts that I was talking about. All for the Veloster N. Altogether, what is in those boxes from Six Element is transformative for the Vloster. Keep in mind, this is my daily driver, but it's a daily that I also want to enjoy on the track. So that's sort of the direction that this car is going. But today I'm just going to be installing some custom pieces that I had made for the car. Okay, the very first piece that I'm going to unbox is the one that I'm the most excited about. I customized a wheel with SoCal Garage Works and I didn't want to put a quick release in this car because I want it more stock style. It is my main daily driver, but I wanted to elevate that, make it look a little bit more aggressive. And they do some crazy stuff with the stock style wheels and you can customize pretty much everything. So I've got this awesome carbon fiber and Alcantara wheel. 
You have that blue center marker right there, and I don't know if you can see it that well on camera. Let me see. The stitching is like the exact Hyundai blue. So this is really cool, this is just a direct replacement, and I love it so much. They also sent me a shift knob, carbon fiber one, to go along with it. But literally, there are so many options for this wheel. They have like red carbon fiber, suede, Alcantara, leather, and perforated leather. I ended up going with Alcantara, and we matched that to a dash piece that they made as well. Yeah, I just like the Alcantara. It looks really, really cool, and on the dash piece, they also have that like, Hyundai blue stitching. They have so many parts on their website too just to customize Veloster ends. It's actually pretty insane. I'm most likely gonna end up getting a lot more pieces from them. They've made the outside more aggressive, but the inside is still the same. So I feel like this is gonna satisfy that need for me. I'm storing a lot of parts of this car right now, so I'd already unboxed all of these. And I'm gonna be honest, I ordered this stuff, I think before I even got the car. This is more carbon fiber, like direct replacement pieces for the car. So this is the air vents and the whole middle piece that's on the passenger side. Here's more air vents with the carbon fiber. This whole piece goes around the shifter as well. Or we're just gonna get started with this and put it in the car. So I'm just gonna do all this outside. I just won't be able to have the AC on for the steering wheel install. I guess you need to disconnect the battery first and then let the car sit for like half an hour just to make sure that the airbag won't go off on us. I wanted to take a moment to thank the amazing sponsor of today's video, Brother. Now, Brother makes printers to help you run your home or business, and they just got even better with their Brother Refresh Easy Print Subscription Service. Now, this service is a flexible monthly printing plan that eliminates the need for you to buy ink or toner cartridges thanks to Brother's exclusive smart ordering printer technology. Genuine Brother ink or toner is delivered straight to your door without you even having to think about it. Instead of me just explaining this more, how about I just show you? This is life without your brother refresh service. Fresh delivery. Thanks! 
don't make black and white Colette's mistake and make sure you guys are signed up for Brothers Refresh Easy Print subscription service. And huge thank you and shout out to Brother for sponsoring today's video. I had a lot of fun filming this. Now let's get back to it. All right, we should be good now. Airbag should not be going off. So I'm basically replacing this entire like outer wheel part and we're keeping our same airbag. So we need to remove the airbag first and there's little clips on each left and right side. They just need to unclip. over all of the switches because we're going to be using all the controls that are on the stock one and just putting them onto here and then we can put this one on the top. All the switches have been robbed from our stock wheel. And now they are on here. And now we can officially put the wheel on. And make sure to line it up. sweating to death and our wheel is officially on. It looks so good. I am absolutely obsessed. I love the carbon fiber piece that wraps around the wheel right here where your thumb sits. It just feels like really nice. This wheel makes me so happy. I love this new POV now. Color match stitching again. All of our switches are fine and working correctly, so that's good. Man, this looks awesome. So now I'm gonna put on our Alcantara replacement dash cover. Now to get that piece on, we gotta get this piece and it's connected right here to that material onto here. We have to get all of this off. And it's kind of an ordeal. You have to take out pretty much everything right here in order to access this to pop it out. While we're getting everything out, I'm also gonna be throwing in our carbon fiber replacement air vent on both of the sides of the dash as well, and then get to replacing this last. Before we get into that, we can throw this bad boy on. I've never removed one of these before, and I think you just have to pull up really hard, like way harder than what feels right. <laughs> That is so hard. You really do have to feel like you're about to break it, but you won't. That's just, that's just how it comes off. So push it back on. Oh, <sighs> that did not feel good. I was only confident in being that aggressive because you can look up anyone that's done this before and they just say, yep, that that's the way. You gotta feel like you're about to break something, but in the end, you don't. One brand new carbon fiber shift knob in the car. Yo, this feels nice. All right, I'm gonna go knock on the old Elzenif shop. Hopefully they'll take me in because there is currently no room in my shop to work on anything and you gotta take out quite a bit of stuff to get our other parts on and I'd much rather be inside an AC.
actually shocked. I would say that the dash cover is having just as big of an effect as the wheel did. It looks so good. Yo, I just got excited and fully put this dash cover on and I'm realizing I'm probably gonna need this side out a little bit so I can get this air vent out and replace it with our carbon one. Same for this side. We're replacing on this one. I got excited and blocked it in. Oh. Figured it out. Um, unfortunately, it's not good news. I'm gonna have to tear a lot of pieces off in order to get that one vent. This one has that one screw that's right there. So in order to get that one screw out, I gotta take off this entire side trim here, the shifter, I gotta take off the knob that we just got on. Take that off, take the shift boot off. We are replacing this piece around the shifter anyway to a carbon one, so at least this effort was gonna have to be done regardless for the pieces we're putting on. But it's just crazy that we're having to do all of this to then take out this plastic piece right here so that this whole piece pops out because that is where our screw is hidden behind here, so. Yep, I'm just gonna start uh, prying, popping things off. Really not that big of a deal. I just didn't realize how many pieces I'd have to take apart. But it's gonna be worth it because it's gonna look so good. I just got that shift knob out and now I gotta do that again. It's just slippery now since it's carbon. You gotta assume the position and it's it's carbon, so it's even harder. Oh my god. It don't feel right. This is like Excalibur. <laughs> it took my whole body weight. Yo, I was full standing up. I think it's a one on one time thing. No. Davis, there's no way you're getting If I if I did gloves, no, but I put my whole body into it. You said there's no way. I'm definitely I'm oh figure out my way. Gosh. Watch, watch this. Get out. Get out, booth. Watch. Now I gotta do this. off as well because that was supposed to be taken off after. I told you full body weight. on this side too. Supposedly you don't need to take off a lot of stuff, but just in case, I don't wanna to have to do all this again. of the car together and installing our dash cover actually for the last time this time.
done now with our Hyundai Veloster and carbon fiber makeover. Was it worth completely tearing the car apart to do this? 100% yes. The vibes that I'm getting from the exterior of the car with our carbon fiber mods have now carried over into the interior and I love it so much. I love the Alcantara with the color matched stitching. It really brings together the Alcantara on the wheel and just, oh, I am feeling this. All the vents being carbon fiber is also just such a nice detail, especially on the passenger side with this huge carbon fiber piece. And of course, our Excalibur shifter <laughs> and the piece around our shifter. I love it so much. That is it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one.